we are going for the query number 10 so what is the query here find the company that has most number of employees that means we are asking for that very company name who is having the maximum number of employees if you come to this box you can find that in VSNL we are having three employees according to this table at AOL we are having uh, four employees and at Shottam we are having three employees so AOL should be coming as output okay now this is the query whatever you have written so now at first let me go to discuss the inner query at first see select count employee name from works group by company name so here AOL will be made one group VSNL will make another group and Shottam will make another group we are picking up the count of the employee names so this inner query is producing a set like producing a set like this one that is 4 3 3 4 employees for the AOL and 3 employees each for uh, your Shottam and VSNL as we counted earlier ok now let us go for the outer query select company name from works group by company name here also we are doing the uh, group by on the company name having count employee name greater than equal to all so whenever you are using greater than equal to all that means we are going to get the maximum of this count here the maximum count is 4 so whenever the 4 will be matching then the respective company name will be going for the output so in this way the query is getting executed always for the simpler explanation of a query execution try to go for the inner query at first and try to check that what are the sets they are going to produce during the runtime and then check how the outer query is working on that so the inner query is producing a set like this that is a set containing three values 4 3 3 because we are having three companies here so four count for AOL, three count for VSNL, three count for Shottam so now the outer, outer query is picking up the respective company name and we are doing the group by on the company name and when the count of employee name is greater than equal to all and here you see this condition is having aggregate function involved so that's why we have written this one using having so we know that we are having so many clauses are there select from where group by having order by so in this way the clauses will be placed in our query here order by was not required here the where was not required so we have used only select from group by and having in this way the query has been executed and this is my company name and the respective output will be a well in this way we have got the solution of this query thanks for watching this video